So we're treasure hunters, right? Sometimes we find things that are a bit unexpected and we need to know how to properly handle them when we do. In today's video, I'm going to share with you what to do if you find cremated remains or military effects that you need to be handled with proper care and respect from a storage unit or any other place that you might surprisingly have found them or picked them up unbeknownst to you. So at the end of this video, I'm going to tell the story of what happened um, with my storage locker that I opened yesterday and also another storage locker that I've also opened. But, but I wanted to get into the, the details of this so that if you come across something like this, that you have the tools or the information that you need to handle these types of items uh, and some cautions along the way. So first up, um, I did find two sets of human ashes cremated remains in the storage locker that I opened yesterday and the I'm looking down at my notes um, the storage facility initially because I went to the the person working yesterday who was not the manager and I asked them to take them because that's what I thought was going to be the proper thing to do uh, and I'll explain my reasoning. Initially, he refused to take them. Um, the locker had not only their remains, but tons of very personal documents, credit cards, bills, um, all, I mean, just any kind of identifying birth certificates, death certificates, everything. Um, but they did not, the person in the office uh, did not want to accept any of that. Um, and so I said, well, you know, especially with these cremated remains, I'm not equipped to handle these. So, and, and I'll explain again why. So eventually he ended up calling his general manager and did come and in fact get them from me. And the reason um, I did not want to take them, one, was because I don't know how to properly dispose of those or handle those. I didn't feel personally like I wanted or was equipped to do that um, Two, the family may come and want them and I know I've seen in some groups because uh, I am in a couple of different storage locker groups and I did a little research um, about this that they have personally the person winning the locker the person that found the the remains has tracked down the family and it has turned into something negative where your best intentions are you're trying to give the the remains back to the family and then the family will possibly come back and say okay well you had the storage locker where's where's mom's wedding ring where's mom's this where's mom's that and it may or may not have been in the locker and will they believe you if you say well no that wasn't in there you know jim bob Put all the stuff in the locker you know that's anyway it can turn into a whole big problem when your best intentions are you're trying to do the right thing for the family and where i saw a, a person had tried to reach out to a family to give their things back and, that, and that's what happened they the person demanded you know oh you had mom's ashes well i want everything in the locker i want all of her possessions well, no, those are my possessions. Now I bought them. I'm trying to do the right thing and, and give this back to you. Um, in that particular instance, they even offered to let the, the person buy back at cost at what they paid for the locker. Um, and they refused. They just wanted the person to give them back all the items. So it can turn, I mean, I can see where, you know, your heart might be in the right place and you want personally to reach out because there was definitely enough information in the locker for me to, to track down somebody who knew the the owner of all this these things and uh, I just did not want to go down that rabbit hole and so I again went to the storage unit management and asked them you know can you please try to find these the family of the, these people again because I wanted to kind of keep my anonymity as far as that goes now if you choose you know when again I did search in some of the storage unit Facebook groups to see well how, how have other people handled this and I've seen you know some people have said that they had property and they buried them on the property and felt like really good about giving them a nice burial um, even though it's a person you may not know um, 
and you know and, and again it also depends on your laws in your state there are different uh, laws and regulations I'm not, I'm not sure what laws regulations about um, how to handle cremated remains so that's something also to take into effect or take into account um, when you're dealing with that so I would really like to hear your input on this because uh, again at the end I'm going to share exactly what happened and my different experiences with the few storage lockers I have done because to the two main storage lockers that I have done uh, have been from somebody that was deceased and it was a very different vibe in both so I'll share with that at the end uh, but then also in this storage locker there was the um, burial flag military burial flag uh, that was in the case and as we were going through all of the documents that were there we did find the man's uh, army discharge papers so I was able to put that with the flag and if you find things like that then what I'm doing is I'm reaching out to our local American Legion there's the uh, Office of Army Veterans Affairs um, I did call Camp Mabry which is the military base here and was transferred to the the office where they handle you know people that have passed away or, or things like that uh, but I, I got a message from that person so I did reach out to our American Legion and they said that I could bring it there and they would display it and take care of it um, with respect and honor which is very important to me so I'm glad to do that so let me know again with that you know if you have any experiences with either of these things how you handled it or what you feel would be the right path to take as far as handling someone's remains or somebody you know handling someone's military effects especially a burial flag uh, with respect and honor like it deserves so yesterday i opened the storage locker this is the part where i tell what happened uh yesterday i opened the storage locker and just like i do you know i'm recording going through all of the things that are found there and i could tell pretty quickly that the storage unit was somebody's basically their entire apartment or room um, and as I went through everything it became more and more apparent that it was likely somebody who was in maybe an assisted living or um, uh, a nursing type home maybe they just had a room they didn't have like a full apartment full of stuff and what led me to that conclusion was that there were just big trash bags like heavy-duty trash bags that looked like they just went under the bathroom sink everything and just with with no care or no concern just grabbing everything so there would be you know a, a dirty plunger toothbrushes everything from the top of the counter everything under the counter everything you know there were curtains in a bag that they didn't even take them off the curtain rod the whole rod is in there with just garbage and kitchen effects and cups and so it was just like somebody went in that was doing their job and just you know probably was told clean out this room we got to get it ready for the next person that's how it kind of felt you know and so other than that the the locker was full of and I'm telling you this because I'm going to compare it different why it feels different than the other locker that I got um this person was it kind of I woke up and I really was feeling like really heart sore because this person I could tell was a very loving caring person that was the the vibe that I got from all of the effects in the locker and so I woke up feeling kind of um heart sore about it I mean I'm a reseller I'm not heartless you know I go to estate sales I know I'm buying somebody probably passed away buying their things reselling that's just part of life you know this these things are not that person these things that belong to a person is not that person so it's a whole um it's just something that that is you know and you're giving more life to that that part that person's belongings that they probably loved so when I was going through the locker as I said I could tell that this was a very very caring person uh, lots of photos of families and photo albums and um, she had kept you know big file folders with all of the thank you cards and high school graduation invitations and and just birthday cards and just all the love was there and the, not just the love you could tell she felt for her family but the love that people felt for her you know pictures from trips and all kinds of beautiful things um and so it just had that kind of vibe and then when I found 
the the ashes in the it, they were in a backpack and you know they were in these boxes they had a plaque on top with you know her name and dates and then there was a second with his name and dates um it just it just really kind of got to me and i'm you know not a whole lot i'm I, you know i've seen a lot so it, it didn't it just felt really hard um seeing how much love she had for the people in her life and how much love people had for her so that was another catalyst for why I felt like I really wanted to make sure that that her and his remains were uh, handled with care. And again, personally, I didn't feel like I would be the right choice to, to, to find the people that, that they should go to. Uh, yeah. So that being said, the, the office didn't, except any of the personal effects, uh, uh, any of the documents, the bills, the anything else from the locker. So I ended up keeping the uh, military discharge paperwork for the moment. I have all of the personal paperwork in just a big bag uh, in case the office does find the family and they do request those paperwork. I mean, birth certificates, death certificates, marriage certificates. I mean, all of that is in a bag right now just waiting to see and i don't i don't really know how long i'm going to keep it i would like your your input on that too like what would you do i'm not going to reach out um, because i just i don't want to open that can of worms that could potentially cause more more harm so the other locker that i uh, that we opened that i made i made a video of um you could tell that one was also somebody who was in hospice care and had passed away the difference was in that locker, it was, there was not a whole lot of personal effects. You could tell that perhaps again, so, I mean, I feel like I want to go talk to the management about this. Like, is this something that, that nursing homes or hospice places do? Maybe they go put all the, the, the things in a, a storage locker, tell the family you got this much time. We're going to pay two months on this, three months or a month or whatever it's for, and you have this much time to go clean it out and then they just walk away. So I don't know if that's a common practice because the two, these two main storage units that we've done have been that, that, that vibe, right? Um, but again, the other one we did, there was a couple appliances, kitchen stuff, you know, there was things like that, but there, and then there was, there was medicine and there were like discharge papers from a hospital. There was hospice notes, but there weren't, family photos, just things that you could feel the person's personality there. You couldn't feel the, it was just stuff. It didn't feel like you can tell the love and all of the, the vibes were there. But the one we opened yesterday, there was definitely, you could feel it. So um, I wanted to make this video today and kind of share that information in case that's something you, you come across. And then I am still like, I still have all the footage for the storage unit, but pardon me, my nose itches, <laughs> but I have to figure out how I'm going to make the video now and try to be, because this is, you know, this is what we do and it's reality, but I don't one, I would never show the photos or names or addresses, things like that, that we would come across. So that would all be clipped out. Um, and I don't want, really want to show when I came across the, the, the person's remains because that just feels very, it, it, to me, it feels like putting on display uh, the vulnerability of death, you know, and the, what's the word I'm looking for? Feeling like respecting that person's privacy in that way. You know, the rest of it is just stuff, physical, tangible things. And it doesn't disrespect a person to show their dishes, you know, their pots and pans, you know, or whatever. But uh, it feels way too personal and vulnerable to, to share that, in my opinion. Now, that's just my opinion. No, you know, if, if you do that, yeah, I know there's lots of people that make videos about that kind of thing. Um, but I, I personally just don't want to, you know, I could see the, the thumbnail now, like oh, I found human remains, all oh, right. And, um, to get a lot of clicks, but that just doesn't feel right, especially in this situation. Um, because I don't know, I mean, I, I know rationally that even though the remains were there and the pictures were there, 
the person is not there, right? She, he, it felt more like it was her stuff. She, she is not there. What, you know, and everybody has their beliefs for what happens after you die and what happens to your soul, your spirit, your, your essence. Um, but one way or the other, physically, tangibly, whatever was not there, but the vibe was there. The love was there. And it felt like, you know, trying to make sure that things were done in the right way. So uh, that's my story with the two storage lockers and uh, what happened. So I hope that you found some help here. If you have come across something like this and you're kind of wondering what to do, um, I had again, big talk with my sister about this because I get so fixated. I, I think, how could someone leave her? How could someone do this? How could her family do this to her? And my sister was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You don't know that that's what happened. They maybe don't know. Maybe, you know, maybe the kids have already passed. Maybe something happened with their lives and all of this was just a domino effect. And they, you know, the nursing place just took took action and here it is and they couldn't get there and so we just don't know the whole story so it's you know I did I woke up just with this intense sadness you know but thankfully I have my sister um so but, but I do I look forward to hearing what what you what you have to say about all of these different things uh because I think it's a good idea to have a, an open dialogue um for what what is right I mean we as resellers and treasure hunters a lot of times we bump into people who think what we do is, you know, predatory or, or vultures or, we're, you know, I get comments all the time about thrifting and, I don't know, buying things that are supposed to be for poor, you know, for the poor. And I, I, anyway, there's, there's the morality police, but it's good to have a discussion and it's good to kind of have an idea of what, 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 what might happen, what you might do. So be on the lookout for that video and um, send... I'll call her Miss A. Well, you know, when, when you see it, send Miss A some love because I'm going to make that video as much as I can with as much love as I can um, for, for her. All right. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.